Hello, Sabezana, and welcome back to Dal Bhat Gaming. So, Halloween ko upar lakshya ma, mali aur saan list pano desu of five games that have totally scared the pants off me. So, number five, Fatal Frame. यो गेम को रिलीज चाहे टू थाउजेंड वन में भग थे अभी प्ले स्टेशन टू में मैं खेल प्रयास कर प्रयास भू कौका छुन ये गेम साई नहीं मेकेंड कि थर्ड एरिया देखि अगड़ी जान सक क्या डर लगे ये गेम में आपू चाहे एट पताल जापानी स्कूल केटी हो प्लप्ड राइट इन द मिडल अफ अ हंटेड हाउस अभी हाउ डू यू फाइट एगेन्स्ट ये घर भर के सब रिशा रूत आंटी फोटो खींचे That's right. Also, could no one talk to me, Kitty? Could they go to school and go in a good animation on the Ali Katichito Mate? Bian egg them another song on a morning jog gag at the store. Yeah, so armed with only a camera that changes perspective from third to first, forcing you to look at all of this angry ass Butaroos coming to get ya. अभी भाग्न भी न सकने स्थिति मैं तो सक नंबर फोर आउटलास्ट सो यो गेम को बारे के भनम दैट हेजन्ट अलरेडी बीन सेट लुक्स ग्रेट आई मीन स्टोरी प्रेजेंटेशन सही छ Character design, but it got me like all of that disgusting kind of shit. You know what I mean? The atmosphere was so intense to the point that sometimes I felt uncomfortable staying in a locker while Big Big Jerry tried to get you. You know what I mean? And of course, by like a game just though. Here you have a video camera, but it's by like a fight when you go to meet them, bhaye ko bhaye ko bhaye ko bhaye ko. Alone in the dark too. Now the year was 1996, and my main goal every day was to get home safe. Ani gar mag puge pa si cycle khilno. And the thing that I wanted the most in life at that time was to jil mile khali gutsa onse ni. The good time I glitter I like just. So as to bella I was introduced to Alone in the Dark 2. Now I had gone up on it kura. This was when I was playing the likes of Prince of Persia, Commander Keen, Dangerous Dave. And as to bella a game with clunky ass controls, any really complex puzzles with zombies, ghosts, and even more puzzles. And that as clown. Hail to the no- Number two, System Shock Two. Look at you, hacker! A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you r- run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? Released in 1999, System Shock 2 picks up where System Shock 1 left off. And I'm like, what happened to System Shock 1? What happened? Why the whole story is like that? What happened? And I go, I'm in Utsa, where is the space station? Ma, our yacht dash has arrived. But there's no facial reconstruction surgery to go on there. Just like Billu Bhaiya for the 15th time. So anyway, deformed man is going around screaming, "Kill me!" A rogue AI, just like the Suru de Hine, after like Chaka Pani Rai Unsa, a complex and detailed progression system and inventory management. Well, mere lai chhi thiyo. Ani tesko mathi insane bazar aur ani teska baje bhuta aur pani. Aha. Where did everybody go? This is some kind of joke. Now uh, a top whatever list wouldn't be complete without some honorable mentions. So here we go. Let's let's, let's do some honorable mentions. 
Slender. Other, you game go crazy on the Harry Kelly Miley. Uh, you game go by key one. I mean, Narod Muni just to teleport Gone or the button, so put a suit tie like on a and I'm just to boot porto back day than Uparne. Key Gone is a kun botsako kill like the art homework. Tip they were. There, that's the game. Five Nights at Freddy's. Dinzer High Boy go game on you. Only got four words for this game, man. Jump scares. Jump scares. And more jump scares. Just put a game to my market price. Like, hey, wait, or what's it? Doom 3. Okay, so technically this is more of an action-oriented game. But this game was supposed to be one of the It was supposed to be one of the scariest games that come up. And in this game, it was one of the most realistic graphics games ever. And the main thing is that the first line is that the game is tense. I don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I'm getting abnormal readings here. So you game more cousin, a mouse, 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 a This otherworldly abomination was plopped out by the elder gods around the end of 2005, I think. Uh, and simply one, Nupardha, I say this is a good adaptation of, uh, is probably one of the better adaptations of um, H.P. Lovecraft's work. Now, if you don't know about H.P. Lovecraft, you should totally go check it out. I'm a huge ass fan, and this game takes inspiration from, from various works like his uh, Shadow Over Innsmouth. Uh, the Cthulhu mythos heavily and uh, even Dagon because I think it falls under the same thing well, w whatever but uh, apart from those obvious nods it is more or less a more original story eh? now I will let me just give you a brief example of what these eldritch cosmic horrors are like here and say the best case scenario is that you go insane when you will go insane <laughs> you cannot even comprehend in her kyo when it goes so like in the in his stories like the best ending that you could ever get any character could ever get was to go insane or oh, the other one's dead yeah <laughs> so this the khale para but they they took their influence from his work and they made this game and um, the first game that I actually played that had a sanity system in it and it's your sanity system le mala hairan parera hairan parera kike hune kike hune ke no bujhne ke huncha ni abo you get vertigo if you're way up too high and tall here bhane ani the guy starts like hearing hallucinations and all of that and it really messed with me unfortunately your game say mala kina khelna sakina ani there were too many technical problems with the game when it came out um it would keep crashing mala eute section probably about seven or eight times Kelly but I was like okay you know what I can't get through with this goodbye and good luck whenever <laughs> so anyway those were uh, the five plus games like them sleepless nights they go too and also um, this is an announcement for the winner of the giveaway and the winner is Soka! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for uh, signing in for the uh, giveaway, Soka, and for being a long time sub as well. I remember, yeah, I remember, mate. <laughs> yeah, so congratulations on your $20 Steam wallet gift card code. Uh, I'll send it to you by email, and please go redeem it. And enjoy yourself. Whatever you can buy with $20. Hell yeah, maybe like, I don't know, a few. PUBG crates or something. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining me, Azakalai. And uh, hit the like button if you liked what you saw. And subscribe for more videos just like this if you haven't already. So until the next time, take care and stay cool. Bye-bye.